This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Liz Sutherland with me, You're the Executive Director of Kempville Campus. Thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm and pleased to be here. You are a new Executive Director too. You just started nine weeks ago? That's right. That's right. Yes, just in January. Um, I'm, uh, I've been brought on uh, by the Board of Directors at the, at the Kempville Campus uh, to um, keep moving things forward as it transitions into a community and education center uh, for the Kempville and North Grenville area. Well, you're off to a good start because you got some amazing news recently, so let's talk about that. We did, yes. Uh, we were very pleased to learn uh, that we've received uh, funding from the Provincial Ministry of um, Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs, OMAFRA, for a bilingual agri-food youth entrepreneurship program. So we're really pleased to be, uh, to be offering this starting in September and it was uh, big news for us. So what is the program going to look like? Right, so um, it is a pilot and so we've got some uh, program development to do, but we're working closely with our four school board partners that we have on campus. All, all, full, all, all four school boards operate schools on campus. The lead in this case is the Conseil des Écoles Catholiques du Centre Est, the French Catholic School Board, um, and we'll essentially be um, delivering a pilot program for uh, youth in the area to get them thinking about uh, entrepreneurship in the agri-food industry uh, and, and give them supports as they you know, develop an idea um, in hopes that it will lead to uh, more uh, local industry in that area and, uh, and to youth um, developing their own good jobs. All right, so I, will, will these students be coming with, you know, a background in, you know, in mind? Like I, I'm thinking, you know, would it be dairy? Would it be uh, beef? Would it be, you know, farming in right. general? No, that's a great question. Um, I think it's going to be quite but certainly some may have an interest uh, perhaps in, uh, you know, in, in beekeeping or in dairy, as you say, or other areas. Um, and, uh, and of course, there's not just uh, the production of food, but also a lot of um, interesting work to be found in food processing and distribution and marketing. So we're hoping to uh, give them a kind of uh, taste across the board and um, take students who just have an interest and then develop uh, in whatever area they're interested in. And you know, when you think traditions too, a lot of uh, students I'm thinking are probably going to be coming from a, a family background uh, and things have changed so much. You know, when we talk even 10, 20, 30 years ago, how farming and agriculture it has changed, you know, so That's a course true. like this would be amazing. Yes, and, and you're absolutely right. I mean, the, the uh, agri-food industry has changed a lot. Um, and we have some wonderful old farming families in the area. And if, if their kids end up going into this industry, I think they'd be really pleased. Uh, but certainly there's a lot of innovation happening and it's important for, uh, for the training to keep up and for the business development supports to keep up. Um, and so that, uh, yeah, we're hoping that the youth in the program uh, as it develops, will will get uh, that kind of flavor for, um, you know, bringing the tradition into the, into the modern day and, and uh, meeting the needs of today's market as well. That's right, that's right. Now, can we talk a little bit about what the campus looks like now? Yes, absolutely. I'm glad you asked. So uh, we're, we're all just emerging into spring and it's a wonderful time to be here. Uh, the maple sap is flowing uh, down at the Agroforestry Centre. Um, certainly, as I said, we have all four local school boards operating schools on campus. Um, there's there's uh, daycare centers, there's uh, small nonprofits and a few small businesses operating here. And of course, we have uh, we have provincial ministries and uh, and many other partners who are co-located on site. So the place is actually really beginning to hum as we open up from COVID and, and spring is in the air. So it's an exciting place to be right now. Uh, September, we have the International Plowing Match coming up too. And it's it literally, it's across the street from, from the main buildings. Yes, um, as a matter of fact, the International Plowing Match, uh, some of the activities are on over the road, but we're going to be hosting some of the elements here, like the Tent City and the RV Park. Uh, and we're hoping to have a lot of, uh, a lot of um, families and students and visitors through the campus uh, so that we can uh, you know, participate and tell them the, the history of the place and what's going on now and into the future. So this is a very exciting year to be here at campus and we're really looking forward to the International Plowing Match. And from what I understand, Kempville Live is going to be going on too, and they, they typically use your, your uh, premises. That's correct, yes. Yes, Kempville Live is a wonderful, a wonderful partner, and we are so looking forward to having them back this year after a couple of years of it having been dormant with COVID. So everyone's really excited uh, to have, uh, to have um, 
uh, can feel live back and all the all the bands that are coming and uh, that feeling of you know a, a music festival in summer it's in july so uh yeah it's, it's going to be a wonderful summer on campus oh well, it's like you say it's really humming over there <laughs> that's right that's right yeah now, so this course that you're, that's going to be starting in, in uh, september have you i, I believe there's going to be 20 students about 20 that's students. correct yes have, have you yes. got them so far or are you looking for interest no. Uh, well, certainly, we'll be we'll be uh, looking for the students. Uh, we we do have some planning to do first of all, of course, with the with our school board partners, uh, making sure that we the program design is appropriate, um, and uh, and then testing it out this fall certainly. Um, but we know that the the school boards will bring their you know uh, their um, tradition of teaching excellence and their ability to bring students in um, as uh, as wonderful partners on the program. But uh, but yes, it will be starting in September with 20 students uh, drawn from all the boards and and from the surrounding area. And uh, and we'll see what happens in the first year. And if it works out really well, hopefully it will continue the year after. So it's going to be a one year program. That's correct. It's funded as a pilot, so we're going to uh, we're going to try things out and and test it, and then um, hopefully have a chance to improve it um, in year two. But it is a pilot the first year. Excellent, excellent. Well, you've got lots of news considering you've only been doing this for nine weeks. <laughs> I know, and I have to say, I'm building on the strength of the team that's been here for a while. We, we've had a board in place for uh, almost a year, and they've done a tremendous amount of work getting things moving. And the small staff team that has been in place, they're rock stars, and I'm just building on the, the excellent work that they've done um, as, the, as the campus moved into its new phase of existence. Well, they're very lucky to have you because I also know you're from the Perth area, so you, you got a bit of landmark in you, just like I do. So <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, it's both towns are wonderful, and uh, it's really enjoyable to be able to spend time uh, in in Perth and then in Campville because uh, there's a lot in common, I would say, but they they have distinct flavors as well. Excellent, excellent. And, and what better place to have a course like this too? Because that campus brings so much history to uh, what you're going to learn. It. That's just it. We have such a solid tradition of um, agricultural training, um, of um, yeah, of, of um, education and training more generally, um, and uh, and I think that there's a lot of there's a lot of history around. I was speaking to the uh, Kempville College Alumni Association yesterday about the the deep roots in the area of, of many people who have uh, a farming background or even uh, you know in, in the food industry more generally with the the uh, the home ex that used to be taught at the college and so on. So certainly there's that history to build on and uh, a lot of people in the area feel really passionately about uh, continuing that tradition and making sure that um, education and training continues to be one of the pillars for the for the Kempville campus as it is, the other two being health and wellness and then economic development. So this is, it fits very nicely with our mission. Excellent, excellent. Well, yes, those walls could talk, but they're listening now too, because you, like <laughs> you say, things are humming. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Oh, yeah, I thank you very much on. for joining us today and telling us the good news that's going on at the Kempville campus. Uh, Liz Sutherland, nine weeks into executive director at our Kempville campus. Thank you very much for joining us.